All right. Welcome back to Caves of Cud. So, what are we doing? Yes, right. I was shafted down into the underground, and for some reason I forgot that we had... Um, that we had... a jopper recoiler. So, I don't actually need to stress about anything. It's all fine. Let's just examine the stuff that we have. This is another chem cell that I cannot use, but I do have a combustion cell with a little bit of oil in it, and that should be enough for one jopper recoil. So how about we just explore the underground a little bit? We don't need to stress about that because we're just going to recoil anyways. Um, and we're down in level six, okay. So yeah, let's just explore that for a little bit. Let's just hang out with our little posse here and uh, have a bit of fun. Shh, plated no worm. You know? Sometimes you find cool stuff in the underground and once we get sick of it, we're just going to... We're just going to teleport out. So, let's see how far we can get. Let me just quickly check how my folks are doing. So, that is what you have, okay. Antlers, Bite and Stinger, so can't really equip them with a ton of stuff. So, it's all about the body armor and hands and feet. Yeah, I guess that's that. At least the antlers give you one one armor value. So that is kind of nice. Let me just check this. Level 12 already. 206 HP, which is very good, actually. Um, and also... Yes, inventory. Do you have water? Oh yeah, you have 57 drums of water. I think they were actually collecting water themselves in the... I don't know. Okay, let's end domination. Once we can dominate again, we're going to check out our other friend, how they are doing. Can you still shoot? Are you shooting? No. Ah. Oh yeah, you are still shooting. You know, like periodically we will just um, give them some ammo, so... What are you shooting at, actually? We do need to be just shooting the walls. Are you shooting at that cave spider? <laughs> you know, this is kind of the reason why I didn't want to give him the laser rifle, because I was worried about... I was kind of worried about... Friendly fire. And rightly so. Again, we're probably not going to stick with this guy. Like, once we find, like, something like the ringed baboons or whatever, we're probably going to switch. I'm going to leave that guy be and uh, get something else. Alright, but well, let's just explore this a little bit. Is there a... Oh, that's a kudzu. Not into that. And a young ivory. Also not into that. What is this? These are bones. Um, but yeah. Oops. Whoopsie daisy. I really need to be careful not to attack my buddies. That is kind of trouble. Good thing is that my laser eyes are actually getting pretty good at this point. Level 14, so, yeah, what do we have here? Shrine to Polyhim, the Aquamarine Meteorite, cool, 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 cool. Flinch is out of the way of the lead slug, so something is shooting at us. Oh no, that was just our buddy, that shot. <laughs> 
so you can actually duck out of the way. And uh, Ego Esper recruiting friends, indeed. That's currently like I don't really have. Um, I plan to stick with this guy for a bunch because having also high Kali commuter, but um, I plan to stick with this guy for a bunch because uh, the Snapjaw bosses are kind of nice. They start out at level one, but have really high health from the start, and you know, not fantastic, but decent stats. So I feel like they make pretty solid companions. But for some reason, like my water vine farmer from the start still lives. Um, and we're probably going to replace the water vine farmer after, when once we find something good. Good morning to you two. So, I briefly ran with the trash monk. But the trash monk died. But yeah. Right. Yeah, but I feel like the problem, the one problem with our Snapjaw boss guy here is that they have three mutations that prevent them from putting on armor. I mean, it's okay, but still. still gonna roll with this guy for the time being so currently I just you know I was at the historic site I got I stepped on a shaft and I'm now essentially stuck in the underground but I do have a jobber recoiler so I've decided to just explore the underground a little bit before we head back to Joppa and uh, do I think I'll ever create a Caves of Kadimo? I sh probably should do that, right? I should actually take care of my channel a little bit and uh, and do that. Hello, Porter. Let's just... Can we destroy that? No. Let's not destroy it. Giant Amoeba dies. I do need to think about... You know? Yeah, I should probably... I should probably do something like that. Or maybe just make it generally roguelike themed, but um, I think as a, like it would be nice for you. Oh yeah, right. You are actually you are actually subscribed, are you? Thank you for that again. Yeah, I need to actually do some of that. I will make that. Sorry that I haven't done that yet, but uh, I forgot that I can do that. As an affiliate. I think I have one emote that I can do. So yeah. You need to think about what that's going to be, right? We could, could make it a snap jaw. Could make it some bananas. You know? I don't know. Many possibilities. I think we have enough dreadwood tubers, actually. Don't need to farm them anymore. Yeah, we can actually go up here. Um, it would probably actually allow us to get back to the historic site. Huh. But we're not going to do that. We're just going to warp back to Joppa. Um, what are you fighting? Oh, that was a... That was a turret. Okay. I need to actually, like... Wow, jeez. Thank you, Kelly Commuter. Month two. <laughs> awesome. Uh, yeah, I, I, I will definitely do something about that. I need to actually... I need to do some stuff. I need to install a graphics program, <laughs> for example. You know, um, I think I do have PaintNet. And I will whip something up in terms of emote stuff. Absolutely right. I have not been doing my due diligence here. But uh, yeah, that is extremely nice of you to do this. Hmm. 
what are you doing? How come you? Yeah, they don't really have good stuff. There's not much sense in murdering them. We do absolutely have enough water, so that's okay. Wow. I think those are Boomrose arrows. Yeah, those are Boomrose arrows. Boomrose arrows are pretty fun, aren't they? Problem is, it's pretty hard to come by any kind of... Okay, they are fighting. Yeah, I must say, I'm beginning to be pretty into the combat animations. They do make the game a lot more readable. You are a channel founder. <laughs> right. Um, ooh. Yes, indeed. First. Yeah. I need to also do that stuff. You know? Now that I'm actually... But I have been streaming on Twitch for a bit. I actually have a few people watching. And some people, like you, are nice enough to subscribe. I need to actually put in some work here and uh, get all that stuff sorted out. You know? Like all these roles. I mean, Channel Founder is nice, but it's just a standard thing that exists. So I need to come up with some fun stuff for that. And I will. I will. Who is shooting here? I don't know. There's a musket. We can disassemble the musket. Why not? <laughs> I mean, the first thing there is kind of nice, but, you know, I should probably think about branding a little bit. Branding. Hashtag branding. Oops, level 15. Awesome. Got an attribute point, so we're going to increase Ego, which means we have a plus 8 here now. So as soon as we can advance again, this all is going to go up, which gives us another 4 Psychic Glimmer. We're still at Ospreys, but... Um, and we have not yet found... We've not yet in engaged in a Psychic battle. That's gonna happen. Good thing is we do have the Mental Mirror, so that's going to help a little bit. Let's get Snake Oiler to be just ridiculous at trading. More dogs. So many dogs. Hey, doggies. Okay. Sure. Everything alright? Everything alright? Everything alright. Good. Yeah, there's a lot of dogs around here. Yeah, you fight the dogs. Are you done? Are you done? Are you shooting folks? I'm just going to quickly dominate and take a look at this. So 72 HP at this point. It's actually getting there. Now that they are... Oh, and we have a lot of points to... to do. So... You do have harvestry, indeed. Um, axe. Oh, can't do much about that, can't do much about that. You could get weathered. Um, let me see. We have 18 agility. I think 18 agility should be enough to... What are you equipped with? A sniper rifle, yeah. So, how about... Oh no, we need 19 agility for that, so we need to actually... Yeah, we need to keep going for a little bit longer here. Um, is there anything that makes sense? I guess we're just going to go for these right now. Like, they don't really need the utility skills. They just need the stuff that they're actually using, so... Um, I guess once we can, we're going to get Cleave. And, yeah. This member is going to be way off, but... Uh, could also do, like, meditation. Um, because they can regenerate faster. 
That would be pretty alright. They're pretty sh slow at regenerating. Okay, whatever. We're going to keep going. So, let's undominate and continue. It would be f pretty fun if both of our buddies here could do a dismembering, actually. But then again, ooh, there's another shaft. Ah, could drop down there, I guess. More guard dogs. Sometimes your companions just disappear and it's tough to see where they are. But just run off and attack something and stay there for a bit or something like that. But yeah, that's fine. We can deal with that. The one issue is... Sort of in these sort of cramped spaces, they are not as good. Oh, there is a Novice of the Sightless Way. Didn't get our mind sundered, which is good. Hey buddies, you want to help me? Oh, there's a bunch of stuff going on there. Okay, so you fight these guys, sure. I also, see again, now my, my buddy is gone. I go into the water, wash off a little, okay. Maybe if you get a sword one day, if my channel gets big. I don't know if my channel ever gets big. <laughs> I think I'm not playing the games, the right games, for my channel to become big. A livid creeper. Let's just try that thing. And gained a level from 500 XP. Seems like a lot of work. Yeah. Like... You mean making a channel big is a lot of work? I would definitely agree with that. I think I'm going to wear that actually. Oh no, I'm going to keep the no one skull. I'm going to keep the no one skull. But yeah, the thing is, it's not really... I mean, I've talked about that before, but it's not really the life I live right now. I can't stream for six hours every day. This is just not... Oh, there's a Templar. There's a Templar Squire. You will get a steel plate mail out of this. Which we... and steel boots. We can give that to our Snapjaw friend. Which is good. Alright. So, steel boots, steel plate mail, and even a steel shield. Ah, but we are doing dual wield here, I think, so... Yeah, I'm of course overburdened, but that's fine. Let's talk to you. So what do you... What, what do you wield right now? Ring mail? Um... Devil axe. You have ball skin gloves, you have no shoes. So that is very good. So you get the steel boots and the steel plate mail. Offer. Trade complete. That is great. I also have a snakeskin armlet. That I'm going to put on because I haven't done that yet. What do I have on the other arm? A compass bracelet, okay. <clears throat> the only consistent case of card play on YouTube or Twitch. Thank you for respecting that. Uh, at the moment, the last two years, yes. I I think so. I kind of I kind of got stuck in this game <laughs> in a big way. But it's also like what I like doing. In a weird way, this game has become sort of my my go-to comfort thing, right? Like when I don't feel great or when I just... I don't know what I want to play, I will just play Case of Cut because Case of Cut always works. So... It's actually, it's actually super easy for me to stick with this game. At this point, because I've played so much of it. And uh... 
It is literally my comfort zone. Have we been down there before? So, yeah. You know, sometimes I'm like, hey, I'm just going to play something else. And then I'm like, oh, I could just play Case of Cut, and then I end up playing Case of Cut. Oh, Vast Mind, someone is near. Okay, so we're going to fight some folks here. Let's wait. 50 turns. We have Mental Mirror. We have Mental Mirror on 8, which is good. Before we engage with that, choose ingredients to cook with. Let's do bear jerky and star apple jam. <laughs> stop bleeding. Whenever you drop below 20 HP, you stop bleeding. Yeah, fantastic. Okay. Well. Okay, there is one of the stronger hermits. We're gonna advance slowly here. I think I don't really have to do anything for the mental mirror, right? It's just active. Yeah. Another slug snout. Let's try the slug snout. Okay. Ooh, and an acid slug. And giant beetles. Oh dear. And the acid is a problem. I'm going to switch maps again before my buddies die. Yeah, this was pretty close. Uh, let's wait a hundred turns. <coughs> okay. Yeah, like the acid slugs are actually problems for our companions. That's actually kind of trouble. My beetle dies, okay. Because they will just run into it and get their feet burned off. I'm not a fan of that, I must say. But how about you don't? Yeah, there's some stuff here. Somebody has died here. I can just dismantle this. Uh, take a look at that. And we're done. Okay. Another musket turret. We got a bit more ammo here. You know what? We're going to give our guy a bit more ammo. No, not all of this, but uh, just a few hundred more. Yeah, I have 20 less slugs left. So. Oh, this takes a bit, because usually you don't do it that, like that. But uh, splitting this bigger... Yeah, yeah, you can have this. Oh, fine. Yes, trade complete. For your sniper rifle. Alright, let's wait. 30 turns. Until healed, I guess. We're gonna continue. There's giant beetles. We haven't found the... I'll be good on ammo, yeah. Like back in the day, back in my days, the... Don't run into the acid. Okay, there's a, there's a nest there. Okay, my folks are gonna die. We're going to swap maps again real fast. Yes, okay. I'd hope that there's nothing dangerous here, but it seems to be okay. D buddy, you're gonna be dead. Buddy, buddy, what are you doing? Where did you run to? Way back over there, okay. What did I sell? I didn't sell it, I actually. I gave it to my friend here, who has a sniper rifle. They need ammo for that, right? So... Let's wait another hundred... 
to wait another hundred turns. Yeah, I don't need it as an Esper, you know, I use light, manip uh, light manipulation pretty much ex exclusively at this point. You know what? I think we're gonna be out of here. I'm not interested in engaging with all that. It's like a bad... Like, if we didn't have our friends here, that would have been okay. But we do have our friends here, so it's not okay. Um, oh, hello. What? What's frozen here? There's a face spider. How about we leave that face spider alone? Let's not break it. Hey, trash monk. Hey, there's another snakeskin armlet. That's cool. Okay. Hey, buddy. You want a snakeskin armlet? You can have it. Trade complete. But yeah, you actually have to make sure to have your folks equipped with stuff. You know, they also need water. At some point I was like, hey, why isn't that guy regenerating health? The reason was, they were thirsty and did not regenerate health. Okay, water vine farmer leveled up again. That's nice. A bunch of glowfish and glow pads over there. That's why we can see them. Come on, we. Is this the... Wait. Subterranean caves? No. Still subterranean caves. I thought we might be running into the water vine stuff. Okay, there is a mysterious gunslinger. Okay. And these are probably laser pistols. Disassemble. And what we're gonna do is let's unload. Just going to disassemble them immediately. Unload, disassemble. Weird artifact. This is a laser pistol with a chem cell. Um, I'm just going to equip them, because why not? And this is a different laser pistol. Puzzled by the pistol. Scope, slender scope laser pistol. That's nice. Equip. Left missile weapon. Because why the heck not, right? Um. Again, we're not, we're not going to make a lot of use of this stuff, but we might just. Hey, you're fighting the Archonaut, so they don't like each other. Let's go north here. And yeah, we're on Esper, we have 32 Ego. And uh, I do have snake oiler as well, so it's like, essentially, it tr like for trading we have 36 ego, that's a lot of ego, so we can trade like, like nothing else. Like with the, with the stuff that we have, we can essentially probably just buy anything, which is cool. Oh, there's some stuff here. A light obfuscating lens, sure. Can I pick up anything? No. I, what? That's an electro bow. Electro bow is also kind of neat, but I think I don't want my guy to use up chem cells. So, kind of not gonna do that. Um, compass bracelet. Am I carrying anything stupid? No. I can probably just give all my lead slugs to my buddy here, but, uh, you know, whatever. Oh, thirst thistle. Don't thirst me, please. Oh, hello. What do we have here? Hey, can you help me attacking this? No, we don't want to. Okay, well, Shrine to Sudocht. The shrine tiles have changed. The ultimate glass cannon, indeed. But that's why I do have my friends here. And I am going to 
use armor. You know? Like, I'm going for armor. The problem is, we don't really have a lot of strength. And that means we're probably not going to be able to use the fullerite stuff. Just because we can't carry it. And I also don't know where my snap jaw is now. Hey Snappy. Where you where you at? Okay, over there. Alright, sometimes you need to walk back here. Um Did I check this chest? Apparently. I could have picked up that vine wafer, but you know. <laughs> Whatever. Alright. Can we go somewhere? Yeah. Essentially what we're currently doing is we're just aimlessly wandering around the underground in order to find some good stuff. Oh yeah, there's like a, a higher level snapshot group. They are not really worth it to get as friends. I've checked, but probably worth it to fight, so. Except if they had a boss, that would be cool. But I think they don't. So, whatever. Mm, carbide longsword and silver rondure. What is a silver rondure? Actually, I have no idea what that is. What am I carrying? I'm carrying way too much food. Okay, I need to, I need to actually preserve some of that. Um, I have a flaming club with a cell in it. I'm going to drop the club. Silver rondure. Is that... Oh yeah, it's, uh, it's a currency item. You can actually... It has armor value. That's interesting. Where, where can you put it? On your face. Ah, it's a face item. Sure, we're going to put that on my... I'm going to put that on my face. Have a little bit more armor. Perfect sphere and isomorphic veneration of the Casafescence? Yeah, we're gonna go with that. 50 reputation with the mechanists. Yeah, why not? Okay. You know, sometimes you find cool stuff. Like an armor value face item is great. Ooh, hello. Let's just try that. So I still not have to bother about the plant matter. Interestingly enough, the plant matter that spawned was graffitied. I don't quite know how that works. But uh, we're just gonna roll with it. Also, one thing about these companions is once they have sort of acquired a target, they will stick to that target no matter what. As you have seen here, um, there was the nest, right? And all those centipedes. But our friend here just went for the... went past all these enemies and just went for the cave spider, because that was the target they had acquired first. Well, there's another nest. There might be another nest somewhere, because there's so many of them. Yes, there is. Hello, nesty. Now there... Now there isn't. Okay. But yeah, so far, underground is pretty neat. Works out quite nicely. Alright. Let's destroy the first thistle. Don't watch. Just watch the first thistle get destroyed, I guess. Do I have lasers left? No, I don't. Let's wait 80 turns. Or not. Oh, there's another first thistle up there. Pop that, let's wait 
And 80 turns. Now it worked? Now it worked. Okay. Okay, there is a cell of sorts. Weird artifact. No, it's not a cell. It's an HE missile. Oh, yeah. Right. That stuff. Let's drop it again. Everybody here? Everybody here? Everybody near? Good. Let's keep going. Have a little gang here. Oh, we can actually go down. Yeah, I feel like it's actually kind of a decent idea to stay in the underground a little bit right now, you know? Things we kind of need to get ready for. We need... Oh, there's a Mimic. Oh, oh, that might be a bad idea, actually, to attack the Mimic. Yes! Well, that worked. Snapjaw gained a level. Are you attacking the Allo? I don't know what you're attacking. Whatever. Buddy. I think we need to take a look at this. Okay, so we have two mutation points. Um, I think we're just going to go for Antlers and Stinger. And we're going to get... Oh yeah, you have all of this stuff already. I mean, they could get Berserk at some point. That would be fun. You wield... Okay, we're going to save up for dual wield with this guy. We can actually max out axe and dual wield at some point, if this guy is going to survive long enough. That's a big if, but it could actually be pretty sweet. Kind of a good asset. I'm going to try to equip them with the best axes we can find. It's going to... Yeah. Let's see. That's fun. Oh, I like this. Right, zap. And we're just going to hang back and shoot everything with our laser eyes. There's a bunch of crap going on over there. We have a glow sphere and some bear jerky. And I'm famished again. Cook, preserve your fresh foods. It was high time to do that. Stample jam, bad jerky. Cook, eat the meal. <laughs> awesome. I wasn't planning on using an Uber Nostrum injector, but... Well, if the occasion arises, which I hope won't, we have a slight chance of healing to four, I guess. Okay. Let's go north. Wait, what's there? Ah, yeah, there it is. No worm. Okay. Oh, there's a gelatinous wedge. A little gelatinous slice of cheese. Oh, hello. Rifle turret tinker. I think you need to be dead, my friend. And you are. Good. And your first thistles over there. Are you. Yeah, you're perfect. You're just bloody. Okay. Alright. Taking care of business here. Um, that's a yurt mat. No, a vine weave tunic. And that's all right, but not really any need for that. Oops. Lots of thirst happening here. Cost us a bit of water, but it's fine. We have enough water. We have enough of the waters. It's absolutely okay. Okay.
All right. stop the underground i think it's time to stop the underground i think it's time to be done down here it's fine we're good so what we're going to do we're going to activate the jopper recoiler nothing happens nothing happens combustion styles empty oh no uh, we have a full cam cell right forgot about that i'm transported good thing is everybody transports Oh, he shoots me in the back. Yeah, that's just what happens. I think having a... I think it's actually not that great idea. That great an idea of having, like, a ranged companion. I think you want them to be melee. This is just stupid stuff happening. Carbide hammer. Ah, nothing really good. Nothing good here. Nothing good. Nothing good. It's okay. All right. We're going to... Have anything? No. What's my quest right now? Do we have another historic site, by the way? Or we just have the one? We're going to go back there to get the artifact. Um, I'm just going to make a stash over here. A stash of stuff. And in that... I'm just going to drop this. We're going to drop all the copper nuggets. We don't need them right now. I'm going to keep the rest. They're so good at trading, it should be no problem. Let's keep this, this, this. Yes, indeed. Um, we could keep the books. You know what? I'm going to drop this. We're going to keep the canticles. I'm going to drop this. If we ever need a lot of stuff, we know that we have it in Joppa. So. Pane of glass. Sounds like a poor Austin novel or something like that. Um, which is City of Glass, of course. Um, whatever. That's why I was thinking about that. In any case, there's this... Okay, we drop the... Oh yeah, right. What I also wanted to drop, that's what I forgot, is the Dreadroot Tubers. We do not need them right now. We only need them once we know how to craft the thing. Okay, if we don't have that, Serene Visage gesticulating is always fun, but uh, this allows the use of the floating nearby slot, indeed. Yeah, there's nothing really here. I mean, serrated is kind of nice, but no. Stash of stuff, indeed. Just in someone's home, yeah. I mean, that's what you do in Joppa, you know? <laughs> First you rob everybody's home, and then you just put your garbage in there. Alright, we're going to go back to the historic site. Arkashan, indeed. Um, and we're gonna go down again, because we have not yet gotten... Sure, buying wafers. We have not yet gotten the thing, the actual thing, thing we want to get. Uh, there's more canticles here. Let's fill up our inventory back up. Sure. Let's go down. Let's go down again. Wait, that's an interesting corpse. What is this? Oh, it's a heart point. Got dismembered. Right, I have dismember friends. Let's go down. Let's go down again. And here we are. I think we dropped down the shaft on this floor. Yes, we did. So. Oh, I think that is the boss here. You know what? Grab saw. Am I going to try to proselytize? I think... Now we're going to fight them. Stun for the turn. Oh, that is not good. 
It's just going to run away a bit and let my friends do it. Yes, oh, yeah, that worked. Did they drop anything? No, they didn't. Okay, I mean, that's fine. There was a lot of painted stuff in a big pile. Okay, yeah. I'm going to take a look at that, thank you. That's just... Like, the last floor... I essentially killed 30,000... Naftali on there. So... It all became a little bit unwieldy. Okay, so here we have this. We're just going to keep that as a currency item. And this is a shrewd guise of Harkushan. Masks... Oh, it's a mask. With plus one strength and plus two intelligence. That's actually kind of neat. I think I'm going to stick with my Silver Rondio for now, but... Uh... We could give this to... Hey, buddy. You have nothing... You can't have anything on your face. Forgot about that. Okay, well. Ah, uh, the big pile. Okay. We have the painted club here. The weighted flower suit of friend. We don't know where it is. But we do have the quest. Check out all of these piles here. Borderlands revolver. It's not made less annoying by having so much stuff that you slip on. I must say. Okay. Ah, you know what? We're done here. We're done here. What's that? Another thing here? Ooh. Oh no, that's the feet of someone. <laughs> Always fun when this happens. Um, yeah. Let's leave. Let's leave. Oh, there's another Canticles Chromaic. Cool. All right, we're done here. So, how about we go to the Rusted Archway and just get that out of the way? Wow, something is... Kindle-thumbed Prickler, that is... <laughs> That's gnarly. Painted Electrobow and a Carbide Folding Hammer, another one. Okay, we know about three artifacts now, but we have no idea about where any of them are. I'm just going to get the carbide folding hammer, because why not? Another Kindle Thumb Prickler. <laughs> Don't know if I'm a fan of Kindle Thumb Pricklers, I must say. Mm -hmm. Ah, too much going on here. What's even happening? Are you angry at me? Yeah, you are. Sure. I guess we're just going to murder you then. My stomach swells with... The scrap-clad hermit has just... injected a blaze injector into me. I mean, sure, if you want, it's fine, but, <laughs> okay, well, whatever. Just had like that, that syringe and was just like, ha! You start to cool off, okay. Alright, ooh, another Kindle fan. Oh yeah, we need to actually be careful about being hot here, because uh, we are frequently set on fire as well. Let's rest. And normalize our temperature as well. Oh, bollocks. There's somebody here 
who does the plant thing. Ah, up there. You. Case by love by arachnides. Oh, you have a rainbow weave cloak. That's kind of nice. Just going to murder you. Yeah, well, that went. That went well. Let's see. Scarlet shawl. Rainbow weave cloak. And an iron weave cloak as well. Wow. That's awesome. Um, so I'm going to wear the iron weave cloak because I am looking to maximize my armor as best as I can. And you can't have anything on your back, but you can. So you're gonna, you're gonna get the rainbow weave cloak. Sure. That's a good item, my friend. Take care of it. Okay. This is a tarry and slimy area. Like, you hit the jackpot of annoying. Alright, I'm famished again. Okay, cook. Preserve your fresh foods and let's... What do we have? We have a ton of bear jerky. So... I need to take these two. Stop bleeding, yeah. Okay, let's go down. Let's go down. Tari compound, okay. We've lost the slime at least. Okay, let's have them fight it out for a bit. Kill the honey skunk. Okay, let's wait 80 turns. We charge our lasers. Right, we have... What kind of security cards do we have, actually? Also, we have an artifact. That's a telescopic monocle, okay. Um, oh yeah, we have a yellow one, maintenance security, so we cannot get through the green one, we can get through the yellow one. That's good. <clears throat> yeah. As one of the mutated folks, it's not really... Like, there's not much in this for us. But I just like to do it anyway. And we can use the cybernetic credit wedges as currency items. You know? Like, they're worth quite a bit. So, whatever. Skull injector, sure. Now let's get the shotgun shells, why not? No one skull. What am I wearing? Well, no one skull. We're going to keep the no one skull. Because we're doing ego over everything. That's me. Ego over everything. Graffiti, I am Yurl. Sure, Yurl. You do you. Just was like, okay. I'm going to put down the graffiti here. Stairs down is behind a keycard door, which is interesting. That usually doesn't happen. Ah, oh, there's a scrap room. We can disassemble all of this. And yeah, let's go down. Okay. 
probably not much sense in exploring everything here. But actually... You know what? I think we're just going to... Ah, you know what? There were... Like, on one of the floors, there are... A number of boxes that can contain some... Cool things. Well, let's see. Not this one. Okay, let's go down. Ooh, we have a vast mind near here. Okay, hello. There we go. Can't do anything with me. I have mental mirror. Okay, that worked. We will maybe have some psychic thralls around here now. I mean, yeah. yeah having mental mirror is really good against the... against the... The mind police. It is. It is, in fact, true. <laughs> ooh, ooh, ooh. I don't like you. Yeah, you exploded. Let's wait a hundred turns. Rest up. Be good. Alright. No psychic thralls. Maybe that one guy was one, I don't know. Ah, there we go, this is what I was looking for. Steel plate mail. We can give that to him, you have studded leather, yeah, sure. So, trade, steel plate mail. Okay. Chain mail, burnt capacitor. Disassemble, let's get there. Salve injector, because I would like that. There's a missile weapon in here. Missile weapon is an electro bow. Okay, I'm just going to disassemble it. Jilted lover. Oh, there's a steel helmet. And chain gauntlets. Okay, wait. Uh, what do we have? We have Boskin gloves. We're going to put on the chain gauntlets. Steel helmet, we're not going to use that. That's going to go... What are you... What do you have on your head? Oh, you don't have a head slot, don't you? Yeah, you have the antlers, right. So not that, but you. You have a leather cap, so you can have the steel helmet. Trade complete. Did not equip it, though. Yeah. I did join the roguelike Discord, and I also am also... I've also long been... In the case of cut Discord, but uh, I don't know. Like I don't really. It's just I I don't really engage much in sort of Discord communities and stuff because they're so fast moving, and I just I don't know. It's always been kind of a thing. But, um, yeah. I'm in them. I always kind of feel weird to, to just write in there and sort of announce my streams because... I don't know. I feel like I'm just... I'm probably overthinking this, but... Uh, yeah, I don't know. And I feel like I'm just there for hawking my stuff. I don't know. Okay, this is probably the credits, indeed. That's good. I'm going to run with that. Sure, Hermits, you fight the stuff. Why not? Fire snout. Yeah, you always get a fire snout down here. All right. Okay, our buddy shot the thing, but accidentally. Did not make the other one hostile, which is good. 
Okay, and here we have this. There's a rifle here. The drum-loaded pump shotgun. Okay, let's disassemble it. We're going to take the silver nugget. Um, we're probably not going to take any of the cybernetics here. But well, this is zero. We can get that one. What's this? Translucent skin. Translucent skin is nice. Cannot use it. Not playing that that kind of character. So, good. Let's go up. Let's get out of here. And we could slowly make our way towards Gridgate, you know? I mean, we don't really have anything specific to go to just now. Do need to be a bit careful because we are going to go to... Oh, there's again... A guy. Gershling and Psychic Thrall. Let's try that one. Are you here? Yes, you are. Ooh. No! No! Oh, no! Oh, no! You just got teleported away. And that essentially means instant death. Oh, that's such a bummer. Can I beguile you? Oh, I can actually beguile them. Oh. oh, I hate that. Wow, lots of skill points. Level 15. You have clairvoyance, ego projection, space... You have space-time vortex. Oh, that's actually bad. That's actually bad. Um, 32 Ego. He is definitely going to kill me. Ah. Oh, this is... I'm not a fan of that. Um, what did I want to do? Yeah, what are you equipped with? Nothing, actually. Okay, let's... Break domination. Yeah, the problem is this guy has the space time vortex, and I just don't want that. So let's beguile this thing and fight this guy. Okay, sure. And we have a flying friend who's going to destroy you. Please. Please. Uh, come on, buddy. No! Here we go. Yeah. Killed by me. I'm sorry about that, but uh, yeah. I would be a good car salesman. Salesman? Sure. You mean with the ego? Ah, oh, that's such a bummer. And it's just gone. And all the stuff is just gone. Ugh. And that was even my good follower. Like, nothing against this guy, you know? But... Ah. Oh. I hate that. <laughs> well, I guess... We're just going to try to find someone else to proselytize. It would be fun if we could get like a goat folk boss. But I'm pretty scared of that, if I'm, if I'm quite honest. We would need to... We, we would need to do some... Proper preparation for that. Okay, well, I guess that's just what's going to happen. Um, yeah. Hmm. More desert canyon. Ah, this is a good one. Okay, we have these folks. 
Water vine farmer gained a level. Okay, buddy. What do we have? You have an attribute point. We're going to put that into strength. Because this now means you can get more stuff. Um, should we get them another mutation? Sure, why not? Sleep gas generation disintegration. I <laughs> can get them beguiling themselves. Uh, none of these I really want. Disintegrate nearby matter. Problem is that we're going to be caught in that a lot. Sleep gas generation. We're also going to be caught in that a lot. Oh, this is all bad. We can have them beguile someone. <laughs> ah, let's just do sleep gas for you. And increase multiple arms. Why not? Skill points. Okay. Now, you have 19. You can actually get cleave. Finally. Domination is broken. Okay. I'm still reeling from our buddy just getting vortexed. This is... <sighs> well, I guess that's just, that can just happen, you know? Can just get unlucky. I mean, that can happen to stronger folks, even. Like. We might just try to do some fun stuff when we get, for example, a. Uh, we find a Dromite Caravan, and we can try to beguile one of these. Problem is, it's going to be counted as an attack. But uh, but still, that could be fun, you know? You know, get one of the salt bags on our side, or something like that. But, yeah. Okay. I mean, we st at least still have our other guy here. And maybe I'm going to sort of get a temporary... <laughs> Indeed. Maybe I'm going to get a temporary goat folk friend or something like that. Just one of the melee folks to... You know? To just have one of them... just have a melee companion to be in melee for us. Let's stay in the neck ring, okay. Never at Boskin Girls, sure. Yeah. You know, having that guy with a sniper rifle is actually kind of fun. You can just go ahead and shoot these snap jaws. Jewel encrusted goggles. I'm going to get them. I'm going to disassemble them. Then again, I was I was going to say that it's going to fetch us a pretty price. But actually, we have so much. Like, we are such a trader. <laughs> we don't actually need that. Oh, there's another one nearby. Oh, teleported near me. That's the sleep gas. Osprey is dead, okay. Yeah, we do have the mental mirror. But our friends don't. <laughs> Dominate and go in beguiling chain. I was thinking about that as well, I don't know. Could work. I'm not really sure whether they are going to count as friendly to us then as well. You know? Like, I guess... I guess they're going to be in our faction, right? Like, essentially, the player has a faction as well. And 
when someone is beguiled or proselytized, they're just part of that faction now. I think. But I'm actually not sure how it works. Have you? No. And yeah, there's a chromling. We could get an ape, actually. Hey, AP, where are you? Ape friend. Buddy. Salt of the earth, where are you? There we go. Hey. Would probably be better to get an ogre ape. 4 a.m. here. Get ready to work. Oh dear. Okay. Well, then, have a nice day. And, uh, yeah, thank you for everything. See you soon. Okay, what are they? Their strength, agility, the rest is kind of bad. Level 12, 69 health. Night vision. Do you have anything here? You have cudgel. Cudgel and bludgeon. Right, that's because that's how they stun you. Okay. Um, they can essentially equip everything. That's kind of, kind of nice. The stats are not great. So let's end domination. Also Cajoni followed. Hi Cajoni. That was 20 minutes ago, I didn't see that happening. Sorry about that. Okay, you can have a bunch of stuff. How about you take those gloves, the warm banoos, let's just give them a bunch of crap that we have. Uh, you can have... Sure, take the miner's helmet. However, you can actually have the carbide folding hammer. Trade complete. Yeah. Can just smash things with that now. Because why not? Okay, we have some stuff here. A small trinket. It's a cell. Don't know what cell. It's a solar cell. That's good. And the weird artifact. It's a chair. Peptic chair. Let's disassemble that chair. Sure. Ooh. 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 Hello. Hello, hello. I would like legendary albino ape. You know what? Let's try it. Yes, it worked. Yes, yes, yes. Are the other ones now hostile? Are you now hostile? No, you're neutral. Oh, the whole posse follows me now. Um, but yes, this is better. This is, this is good. Albino ape boss. They're gonna come with me now. Dominate creature. Let's take a look. Level 18, 150 health, 33 strength, wow, 35 intelligence, 19 toughness. Uh, okay, well, that's that's okay. You have cudgel and bludgeon as well. Um, the problem is, I should have taken the other stuff. Oh, are you angry at me now? They're neutral, but they're attacking me. Albino ape. Uh, sorry, buddy. But it's not, oh. Is that an ogre? No, it's an albino ape. Okay. Okay. You know, a pelt. Okay. I don't need the albino a pelt. I think that counts as a currency item now, doesn't it? Yeah, it does. Let's drop it. Bloody trash. 
The thing is, I need to actually get my get my cudgel back. <laughs> what are you equipped with? Do you want to beat a bracelet? Ape for a cloak? Ape for glows? You just have your fists, don't you? Yeah, you do. So I do actually kind of want that cudgel for you. Problem is... I actually need to find my ape friend now. How about you drop dead? Okay. I mean, that's kind of cool. Like, I think we can roll with this guy for a bit. It's going to take a while until they level up and stuff. But, yeah. Okay, I don't know where that is. Human corpse, human corpse. Huh. I think we just lost that thing. That cudgel. I do think I want to keep the cudgel myself, though. Yeah, I don't know where they might be. Whatever, you can pound things with your fists for now. We might get, like, carbide hammers and stuff in the jungle from the goat folk, so... I think we're gonna be okay. Cook with that. HP, natural healing rate. This is better. This is better. Yeah, okay. Not intelligent enough for cooking. So... Why are you green? Okay. Oh, you have all the beta bracelets. Eh? You can give them to me. <laughs> Puma Shitin Vest, you can hold on to that for now. Snake skin armlet, ape fur cloak, ape fur hat, and a jewel encrusted beaded bracelet. Okay, ape fur gloves, sandals. Yeah, we can equip them with a bit of stuff, but yeah, let's drop this. And domination, and we're just going to pick it up. All right. Okay. And that's kind of awesome now that we have an ape friend. Oh, I am level 16 now. That's good. Everything's on 19. We have 15 mutation points. So uh, uh, we can just put stuff in there. We are now pursued by Harriers, because we went past the 35 range. We're now pursued by worse enemies, so we need to be careful about that. But yeah. This guy definitely needs a cudgel. Doesn't have carbide hand bones or anything, so ooh way yay 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 yay. Where's my ape friend now? Ah, <laughs> oh, over there. You're just fighting stuff. Fighting the infiltrator. Good. Huh. Okay, now we're in the jungle. So, it's actually kind of good, because I do want to kill a bunch of goat folk in order to, need to be really careful about the, the sowers. But I do want to kill a bunch of goat folk 
to get like some cudgels and stuff. You know? Hey buddy. Because we need that guy to be better equipped. It's okay that you're using your fists, but uh Oh, wait, I need to actually look at. I mean, it's 12 penetration and 2d2. The damage is not great, but. <laughs> I don't know. Let's see, let's see. Oh, yeah, someone is near. We have a Harrier nearby. Okay, there's a goat man. Stun for the turn. Okay, are we good? Are we good? Carbide hammer. Antonin Lestein skin suit. Okay, we're going to get the carbide hammer. And you are going to get that carbide hammer. Oops, no. Okay. Sure. I'm not sure whether this is actually... It's not putting it on. Maybe, like, the fists are actually better for now. We're gonna let him fight with the fists. Oh, I'm... Blue now. There's some stuff going on over there. Ah, oh, yes, hello. Okay, is dead. That is good. Let's attack the acid slug. Who is a psychic thrall? Okay, and that's it for the albino ape. So, apparently, just stood in the acid for a, bi for a bit. Man, the acid is just horrible. Yeah. Jeez, okay. I mean, sure. Where did you die? Okay. Well, I guess we're gonna need another one. We're gonna need another one. <laughs> oh, I'm sad. I'm sad. Well. Oh, there's a slumberling. Oh, we could try to get the slumberling. Hey, we have a slumberling friend. I think the problem with the slumberling friend is that they will fall asleep constantly. Take a look. High strength and toughness. Level 21, 130 health. Cudgel and charging strike. Dual wield, flurry and offhand strikes. Okay, and tactics, they have hurdle and charge. That makes sense. Um, anything equipped here? Yeah, bite and claws. Yeah, and that's why they are so dangerous. <laughs> okay, and domination. Are you going to fall asleep on me? Yes, you are. Okay. So having a slumberling is obviously not ideal. Okay. Well, for Cornblower, that is makes it pretty likely that there is a boss nearby. There's some stuff going on over there. Okay. Zap. Zap. Alright, let's rest. Let's rest. Oh, okay, there's an idol. Idle boss. You know what? I'm going to skip this. I don't actually want to fight them, I think. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Ooh. No! And I'm dead! Killed by a good Foxoa. Yeah. 
I did not do that very well. Okay, well, that's that run. I could have prevented that, actually. Could have prevented that. Let's play another one of these. Sorry, I'm going to stick with that for now. To just... Um, to just make up for... To just make up for the years of not playing this type of character. Oh, that went sideways. Jeez. But yeah, the... This stuff is trouble. This stuff is kind of trouble. Ah, oh, now we're at the start again. I feel kind of the fatigue after a long run ended. Um, what I might do is I might switch games and play something else right now. Take the stream down. I'm going to be back in a minute with maybe a different roguelike or whatever. Because... Uh, Yeah, because I do feel that it's often really tough to get back into the game after a long one ended. So it's that feeling. Let's just do all the stuff. Okay, turn a ball. The boon of bollocks. Okay, it's up there. Good. Okay, oh, that's a graffiti door. Above the dew point. Okay, sure. You give me your cue, your cue, your quest, and uh, all right. I'm gonna stop playing Caves of Cut for a bit, but I do want to keep streaming. So that was one and a half hours. That's fine. Um, I think I'm going to play something else. I might. I might play Dead Cells. Um, I'm not going to play Dead Cells for too much longer, but I do want to do some more stuff there, so I might just do that right now. I might play something. I'm going to think of something and I'm going to be back in.